this video we're looking at getting our player to be able to shoot bullets so what we need to do is we need to insert a new object we need to scroll down to sprite and we're going to call it bullet click anywhere to insert it but we want to actually click above the screen i'll explain that in just a second and i just want a tiny little circle to be our bullet about that size what we can do now is click on crop and this will get rid of any of the blank space in between so now we've got our bullet, and it's just off the screen, just like so. So we need to actually give this a behavior. So we're going to just add a new behavior, and there's one called bullet, which is really, really useful for us. And what this will do is this will move it in a straight line for us. So we can add it, and we can see some of its behaviors. So we can see how fast it is, acceleration, gravity, if it bounces off solids. So we've got quite a few behaviors that we can mess around with there. We'll keep it simple and we won't change anything for now. We're also going to uh, add another object and this object can be called keyboard. Now what keyboard does is it just gives us some extra functionality that we can use inside our event sheet. So let's go to our event sheet now and let's add a brand new event and we want to use our keyboard and we want to say on key pressed and it's going to say what key do you want to use and this is a time where you can actually use your keyboard to press a button so i'm just going to hit the space bar so when the space bar is pressed what do we want to do well we want our player to do something and what do we want our player to do well we want it to spawn another object and the object we want it to spawn is the bullet so we can now click done and we can hit play so now when we shoot we fire a bullet and you can see we can jump and we can fire multiple bullets. Now there's a couple of things that we have to change with this. So we're gonna add a new action to this and we're going to wait one second and then bullet. And we're just gonna destroy the bullet so it doesn't stay around forever so run it again and after a second it deletes so we can make this trail last a little bit longer if we want and we can say after five seconds we can do it and we can make it last a bit longer or we could get rid of this completely and add a brand new event that just says when the bullets left the screen just kill it this means that it's not going to destroy enemies really far down the rest of the level so our other option is just say when it's outside of layout but it dot destroy so it depends how you want your projectiles if you want your projectiles to go on for a set amount or you want them to go until they've gone off the screen that's your choice so the difference is either these two lines of code and we control it by seconds or these two which I'll just get rid of these two here. And this one instead do it as soon as it's outside the layout. So this looks very similar to what we had before. The difference is these bullets aren't gonna go on forever and kill all our enemies right at the end of the level. As soon as they get outside the layout, they're gonna just stop. So next video, we'll look at actually making these attacks some enemies.